All right, yo, 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 what's up? My name's Petrovsky. We're going to be jamming some more random battles today. We're in queue. 25 seconds left. Let's go ahead and check the starting point for this episode. So, we're going to be starting here at 6.01 ELO, uh, 35 and 19 win loss ratio, 64% win rate. I'm going to be trying to 3 0 this set, or at least 2 1. My goal is to end this video only at uh, 20 losses or less. But if not, you know what? That's okay. I really just want to hone in, refocus in, and make sure I'm paying my full attention to the PvP game. Uh, I think that's something I need to kind of get back into. We do have an un unknown on our team, which is a, it's a huge detriment. You know, it's pretty weak, probably the weakest, one of the weakest Pokemon you can get, but that's okay. Cussed up Barry Magnezone with Explosion. Scyther Swords Dance, Life Orb. This, this Scyther could be strong. We have no... Okay, we have no Rocks. We have Choice Band for Alligator. That's actually quite strong. Swords Dance, Technician, Scissor could be huge if used correctly. So we've got Choice Specs. Politoed and choice band for alligator and then cho okay so we have three choicers which is actually good good a good thing like that's fine oh uh, very high level high ranked player good luck to him i'm just gonna play my best and see what i can do this guy could have ice beam or he might just stall here to go for like a burn but by only having 60 base power is pretty rough here I'm curious if I should just straight up go for the Sword Stance or just Bud Bite or I could switch into Scizor and go for an SC there. Wait, it's really funny that I have Scizor and, and uh, Scyther. That's actually very funny. I'm going to go ahead and go for a Sword Stance. Yep, because I think there's a chance he switches out, which is what happened. And I am actually faster than this, than this thing. I don't think this thing ever one-shots me. I'm Eviolite. Oh, no, I'm Life Orb, right? Okay, that's a little unfortunate. I wish I was Eviolite here. I'm just gonna go for an aerial ace. Hopefully, I can at least do like 40%. Let's scroll down here. Oh wow, we did a lot more than I thought. Actually, did I crit? Oh, and he heat waved and missed. That is huge for me. No, I actually didn't crit. I thought I crit because of how insane that looked. So the question now is whether I should go for a bug. I, I can't bug bite. I'm pretty sure it's four times. I'm just gonna do aerial ace. Plus, aerial ace is gonna be able to hit everything. Like can't miss, which is nice. That's a, that's a huge that's a huge start to this first game for me. The heat wave miss is very lucky. I thought the aerial ice crit for a sec. Even, I mean, it wouldn't one-shot me, I'm quite sure. Wow, doing 76% to Glistor is filthy. I, I outspeed this thing every time. I don't know, my opponent's in a really rough position. I'm just very happy to keep aerial acing. I could honestly, like... Actually, that's... Yeah, there we go. I could actually maybe potentially look for a um, another sword stance to be able to like one-shot these dudes. I'm like, if I, if I sword stance up one more time... I would definitely be one-shotting them. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. He's probably Scarf, which means he probably outspeeds me, so he's going to transform. I'm going to go ahead and Aerial Ace. The issue is if I don't one-shot, I'm in a rough position. There we go. I do one-shot, though. So I could Brick Break there, but it's, it's it's the wrong play. So if I Brick Break, he's going to transform faster than me with Scarf, and then the Brick Break would no longer be super effective, so I actually do go for the Aerial Ace there and can kill. I might just be able to sweep his entire team. Which would be pretty filthy. I definitely can Brick Break here pretty freely. He could, like, back switch into something, I guess. Like, Slowbro. That's, that's a smart... It's a, you might as well just come in and protect, I guess. Oh, good for the Toxic Orb. Uh, now he's on Speed Boost. I don't think he should be faster than me. He might actually... Even if he is, I don't see a reason. To, like, I'm happy to just give this up. 95%. I don't quite KO, actually. That's crazy. But fair enough. He's gonna die. If this doesn't, okay, that, that kills. I'm super okay with everything that's happened so far. So his Grand Bowl goes down to poison here. I took out three Pokemon, basically four. Golbat's very low. It could have Roost though. I actually need to bring in something fast to deal with uh, Golbat. I don't. I don't want it to be able to Roost up. Is a huge fear. So I think he's. I think he's gonna try to bring in his Golbat and immediately Roost. What's faster than 183 speed? Not much. I think I literally just have to bring in Scizor. Dude, imagine how tilted my opponent... Yep, so I have to bullet punch here. Imagine how tilted my opponent must be. I guess I could SD here again. I mean, he's, he's Heat Wave, actually, for sure. So the scary thing is if bullet punch... Bullet punch should KO. It's neutral. It should KO. He'll switch. That's really good. That's really, really, really good. Only doing 8% is fine. I just don't want him to uh, be able... I just don't want him to be able to roost there. This thing's going to, like, scald me. It's actually not going to hurt me for that much. I also have access to roost. I'm going to SD. And then I can roost back up. This thing shouldn't have a fire move. It might have scald and look for a burn, which is super fair. Wow, 61% is actually way more than I thought, though. Not going to lie. 
That is... Oh, it crit. That's why. Okay, well, I'm safe to roost here, then. If he gets a burn, it's rough. But I should still be able to kill this thing with bullet punch. Post SD. If he gets a burn, it would suck. But it's not the end of the world. He's fishing for it. I kind of can't... Like, I can't... But I have to make sure I can live at least one more scald. I'm really giving him the boot. Like, he should scald here, probably. Like, statistically, he should scald. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of letting him scald me. I'm trying to think if I, could, if I could just go... Yep, there's the burn. I guess I could have just gone Politoed. Maybe I'm playing too much around this. I mean, now I'm free to roost because I'm not scared of the burn anymore. Oh, I had Lum. I, I actually got healed. I totally forgot. Oh, that's a misplay then. I probably maybe... Sh actually, no, I think I have to heal him one more time. Okay, but now I can Bug Bite. And live another attack. And he he doesn't scald me. Wow, and Bug Bite actually okay, I I just did not think that Bug Bite would finish him off. That is crazy. And I and I was I ate his Patea Barrier. That's so funny. I guess Bug Bite gets uh technician's technician boosted, doesn't it? Or I always forget the technician numbers. Sand Slash comes in. I'm just one time swords dance, right? And, and special attack. Uh, I think I'm good here to just switch. I'm trying to think. Do I need to, like, hmm. I almost want to roost. I, I don't, actually, he's faster, which is actually a huge deal here. I'm just, I think I'm playing too safe around this, Around the scissor. I don't need to save this thing. I can just get some damage off. 40% is huge ship. I don't I don't need this thing to live. And I think it lives this actually. Yeah, it's huge. I don't I don't need this thing plus the life orb damage. I just don't need this scissor to be like I don't need it to live. I can finish off Golbat with T Bolt from the uh Magna Zone. I should be able to bring in I also can bring in Fraligator here. Pretty sure I outspeed. I can choice ban and just like waterfall kill everything. Or ice punch actually. It's probably just going to hit uh, Golbat for super effective. I'm just... It's it's very likely that Waterfall also like kills or whatever. But I'm just like, just in case. I really need uh, Golbat to be able to go down. So I might just hard switch here to um, Magna Zone. I'm just very scared of this thing roosting. I mean, actually, Ice Punch might be able to out damage roost. Let's check it. It's, it's Choice Band is the reason why it might be able to. I was just so weary of this. Oh my god. Like, dude, Golbat is such a threat. This Pokemon is crazy. Okay, he probably just roosts here. I'm gonna go Magna Zone. Like, I'm a little scared of, like, him, uh... Heat waving or something. So that now he roosts... Okay. So he, he, even if he heat waves Magna Zone, it probably lives. And I and I have Custat Berry. I have Custat Berry sturdy, so... I should be super safe to just T-Bolt here. He's in a nasty plot. He should either just be dead here... Or he's going to proc my sturdy Custat Barry, and I can either T-Bolt or explode on him. So this should be GG's. This is a really good game against my opponent. I definitely got a really lucky start. Having Scyther and Scizor on my team was so huge. Him missing the Heat Wave early was really rough. I feel for my opponent. Oh wow, T-Bolt only doing 35% there. Oh, he roosted to get... That's why. So he actually... That was a genius play. He's roosting to remove his, fi his uh, Flying type. I actually think I'm just going to Flash Cannon then. Or, no, there's no reason. I mean, Thunderbolt's still to play. Wow, he's playing this very smart. This is actually possible. I really need a Paralyze then. A Parahax from the T-Bolt is actually really, really huge here. What's the secondary effect of Flash Cannon? Lower special defense. There we go. That's what I actually really needed. That's actually... Okay, I think that actually secures the victory. Because now I outspeed him with T-Bolt. Yep, and that finishes him off. Oh, so good. GG's. Well played to my opponent. I respect the attempt. Scyther was... Scyther was an absolute monster after literally just one sword stance. That was... I, I can't believe... I think it was one sword stance, right? I can't believe how much damage he was doing after only one sword stance. That was filthy. And my opponent didn't have fast enough Pokemon to be able to, like, take care of him. That was the huge... I feel really bad for my opponent in terms of that. Like, he just didn't have a Pokemon fast enough, which, like, just sucks. I feel like my opponent definitely just had, like, a rough... A rough team there. I mean, I played it well, for the most part. Um, but he just—he definitely was playing from behind a large majority of that game. 
Let's go ahead and jump into game two, and hopefully we can continue, continue some of our luck alongside some of our decent play. Rom also really want to shoot for this uh, this Amber Palm, dude. I really want this Amber Palm. So we're around 300. We're on, okay, actually, we're kind of close. We're only 350 points away. I mean, kind of close, quote-unquote. We got 40 matchmaking rewards for that win. So let's say, how many games do we have to win to get that? I mean, it's still a lot, actually. <laughs> it's like 350. It's, it's like 10. We still have to win like 10 games to get it. But we actually have 7 days. We actually have longer than I expected. It's probably around 6 days. I don't think that's accurate. Oh, we have a Miltank and a Deli Bird. That's awesome. And the Scyther lead again. The Scyther lead is... So okay, this team is awesome. I'm in love with this team. If I lose this game, I suck. I wish this was like curse, but wow, this team is actually baller. I love this team. If I lose this game, I'm trash. That's the that's the the general synopsis. Okay, so he's gonna go back mortar. I definitely have to switch here. I mean, I can never I can never ever stay. Actually, I have like no real answer for mag mortar. This game's losable. Whew. This is actually very very scary. Am I faster than Mag Mortar? Yes, I am. That's what I thought I might be. This is actually pretty scary. I think I have to go... But he outspeeds. <laughs> I might have to sacrifice a Pokemon off the start. Like, I just don't see a way I can deal with this thing super well. Okay, which which Pokemon do I care about the least here? Is the... I really, really need a safe switch into something. But I just don't have that. Uh, Hitmonchan, I can't, I, I really would like to go Hitmonchan and get Focus Ash and then Stone Edge, but I actually don't have, I, can't, I don't outspeed speed him. My best bet is probably going Miltank or Kangaskhan, whichever is bulkier, so 80 Special Defense, 105 HP. The problem is it's going to have a Fighting type attack, most likely. This is actually really, really tough. 70 Special Defense, 95 base, Wait, I think Kanga's actually, Kanga's actually bulkier, I think, surprisingly. Okay, I'm gonna go Kanga. That took me a long time, but that dude, this might be like one of the most important decisions of the entire battle. So he's gonna sub. He might be like a sub belly drum set, but what, I mean, what can I do here? I'm gonna go ahead and body slam. Ah, uh, he's got focus punch. Yep. I mean, okay, we live it, which is super huge. That's that's all I really wanted to see. If if, if dude, this is fine. I really just needed to deal with like. Like, this Pokemon is the most threatening thing against my team. It's actually so scary. Uh, I'm sure to Body Slam again. Body Slam to chunk him and then have a safe switch in. 37. It's not the best damage, unfortunately. Flamethrower does finish me off. Okay, but now I should be able to switch into something else and finish it off. Like, I'm probably going to go Deli Bird here. What's the Deli Bird speed? The issue is if Deli Bird misses. I don't want to go Deli Bird here yet. Uh, I should be safe to go Mr. Mai, maybe, in, like, Psy Shock. What is... I need Mag Mortars. Let's do M-O-R. Searching for Pokemon. I don't have it, actually. I'm gonna look up Black White Smogon. I need a special defense stat. Mag Mortar. Black White Smogon. Always keep Black White Smogon up with you while you're playing randoms or playing PvP or playing Pokemon in general. It's usually really, really helpful. How much time do I have left? I'm in at 30. 95, special defense, 67 defense. So is, I actually think I just go Hitmonchan maybe and just go for a Stone Edge. But if I miss, it sucks. <clears throat> Could go Scyther and hope that like Aerial Ace kills. Ugh, dude, this is really rough. He's sub-focus punch. He's physical. What are the odds? He has, he has Flamethrower as well. Actually, no, 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 no. What am I doing? Uh, Miltank's the play. I just go Miltank and Body Slam because he's not able to... Um, he can't focus punch that way. I'm faster than him on Milk Tank, which is huge. And then I can also Milk Drink. He switches. Okay, huge. I would love to see a pair on this thing. I would love to see a pair on this thing. Nice. That's so good. That's actually gorgeous. Actually gorgeous. The question is, what's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? I kind of just want to go Deli Bird. But, like, could he kill Delibird with anything? I think it's just the play. I think it's the safest play. I don't want to stay in there on Miltank, I don't think. He Draco Meteors and takes out the bird. Ugh, my opponent's team is pretty strong. 
Definitely having issues with this. I kind of want to go Scyther and try to set up. I'm going to go Scyther and set up a Swords Dance. It was so good last time. I think it's the play. His specials drop, so he shouldn't have, like, Fire Blast or Flamethrower or anything. Or if he does it, we shouldn't do that much damage to me. Uh, he might be able to, like, use, a, like, Aerial Ace or something or some sort of flying attack. He could Dragon Claw me, which might do, like, 60%. This is my best bet. He's also parried, so, like, I'm really playing... Like, there's a chance that he can't move. That would be super important or super huge. He's probably thinking about a switch here. Yep, there he goes into Mag Mortar. Little does he know, I'm faster than my Mag Mortar, so now I'm able to Sword Stance up here and then, like, get off an Aerial Ace, and I should be able to kill it. I think I just always air laser. I, I should be able to kill this. If I can't, it's really bad. 61. Okay. <sighs> Crisis averted. That Mag Mortar was just impossible for my team to deal with. I, I did lose two Pokemon, unfortunately, to take him out. But I paralyzed another Pokemon in the process. Is it worth to stay in here and... I'm like four times weak to rock, aren't I? No, I want this. I want this Scyther, my dude. I desperately want to keep this Scyther. He's going to go for a Stone Edge or something of the sort. I think I just go Mr. Mime and throw up a Focus Blast. It is really scary if he, like, does a decent amount of damage to me here. 15%. He goes for a Dragon Tail. Wow, that's really bad of him. Because I would have been able to get a hit off on him because it has such negative priority. Uh, I should be safe to go for a Close Combat. He might just Dragon Tail me again. He's going to Rocks up. I don't have a Spinner. I believe this thing doesn't have Spin. Yep. Close combat actually does more damage than I thought. Okay, Onyx outspeeding me is hilarious. I do, I do want to say. Uh, he's probably gonna out. I mean, if he goes for a Dragon Tail, I just want to do this. Yep, that, that's fine. That's that's totally fine. So now I finish off his Onyx. I definitely need to switch out here. So he's basically gonna get like a. He kind of knows that like I need to switch out because my defenses are so dropped on Hitmonchan. He got rocked up, which is honestly him getting rocked up at this stage in the game is probably ideal for me. Like it's not super late. It's not the worst thing in the world for me. He can probably go for like a nasty plot or something here. Since 154, I'm gonna go Scyther. I should be able to pretty freely go Scyther and Aerial Ace. I don't see a reason why. This is gonna do a lot of damage to me though. Sleep Powder and misses, that's huge. It's 55% accurate. That damage was brutal though. I think I just straight up go for Aerial Ace here. It should be able to kill. I mean, I'm Eviolite, maybe I don't. He goes, he brings in Salamance. I actually feel pretty comfortable, um, I might stay in here and just roost. Actually, he's gonna have Draco again is the issue. I mean, dude, nothing's gonna survive Draco is the... I can't, actually, yeah, I can't, uh, switch in and out my Scyther anymore. It's gonna take 50% to rocks every time. I literally can't switch out Scyther there even if I wanted to. It's just gonna come in and get obliterated. It would die to rocks. There we go, that's what we, that's what we needed. We actually desperately needed that. So now I can either go for a Sword Stance or an Aerial Ace. I think the play is actually to go for Sword Stance. I can't kill it. I don't know if I can kill it with one shot with Aerial Ace either though. The Sword Stance play just looks really dumb if he... If he gets a, if he get, kills me with... If he OKOs me with a uh, Draco Meteor. Flamethrower on is 56%. Super okay with that. No burn. I think I just go for Air Lace here. I don't know if Air Lace kills, unfortunately. It actually does. Okay. I knew it might be close. I'm only plus one. Once again, Scyther is really carrying us through. This Pokemon's very, very powerful. Cradilla is quite slow. It definitely will have, like, Rock Slide. It's not, I'm going to Roost. It's not going to hit that hard. It might go for like a curse or something. I'm gonna roost. Rock slide. We actually take a lot less damage because we roosted, if you noticed. Um, but still does a lot of damage. I actually healed like 0.5 or whatever. I wonder if I can just wait out. I mean, I'm just gonna click this until he messes up. So roosting is causing me to to lose my flying type, which is actually only make only making me two times weak to rock slide as opposed to four times weak. There we go. That's actually really good. I mean, not it's not that great because what's gonna happen now is that uh, he's gonna he'll OKO me here. I'm gonna brick break. Only 34%. That's brutal, bro. 
That is brutal. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised. Yeah. Okay, it does kill me. I was, I was like, I'm surprised I live, but no, I didn't live. This Cradle is a problem. Cradle is just a problem. Cradle is an insane Pokemon. Do I just go Mr. Mime? I think Mr. Mime's like the only play. I have to hit with something special attacking. I wonder if he'll curse. I don't think he'll curse. Like if he does, I could trick it, which would be huge. But I'm gonna go for the Focus Blast. I think. He should never curse here. I missed the Focus Blast. That is huge. Does that kill? That's really unfortunate. The game relies a lot on that Focus Blast. Maybe I should have just Psy Shocked to a, like. Maybe it would have died to Psy Shock. Maybe I. Sh I actually think I should. I think that she's still like. That's not. I can't even complain about the Focus. Miss there because I feel like that's on me. I'm gonna come in and toxic this thing. I feel like that's actually on me. I feel like I feel like I can't even complain about that. I feel like I should have just Psy Shocked. Gone for neutral damage. I'm gonna toxic and stall it out a little. I feel like it's the only way I can win this. I'm assuming he might be like recover though or rest, which is scary. It's quite scary. I just don't have a great way to deal with this Pokemon. Or by, by great way, I mean I don't think I have any way to deal with this Pokemon, <laughs> unfortunately. Body Slam's gonna do so little. Yeah, 5%. Rock Slide does 50%. I can Milk Drink it off. Can Milk Drink it off barely. I'm assuming this thing has rest. But, like, there's no other. There's like. If it, as, as soon as I see this thing, like, rest slash recover, I think my only win con. Like, I have to, like, switch to Hitmonchan and, like, try to, like, Ice Punch it or Stone Edge or something. I think I actually. Yeah. My play. Did that crit or is that just. Yeah, crit. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Um, my only play, if he rests, is to go into Hitmonchan and pray for a Stone Edge crit to smack through the defenses. For those who don't know, if you crit in Pokemon, you like ignore all the defensive or all the bonuses. So if he puts himself to sleep, my best play is to go into Hitmonchan with first Stone Edge crit. We milk drink up, stall him down as much as we can. Yep, he has recover. Uh, it's okay. It's actually worst case scenario as well, which sucks. It's recover instead of rest. Actually, actually recover might be the better situation because now I can like stall him out with poison. He just has to switch is the play. I'm going to body slam here in case of a switch. He, I wonder if he'll realize he has to switch to reset the poison damage. Because poison's going to... Yep, yep, there we go. We, now we get a free body slam. Yes. That's so good. That's what I was hoping for. Only 31%, but it's something. We get a para. That's what we needed. That makes me... I mean, I was already faster. That's what we needed. That's so good. If it has Giga Drain, it's going to heal a decent amount, which sucks. Leech Seed? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm actually swapped to Hitmonchan here. I am faster than the the Rosalia, which is huge. I'm a little scared if it attacks here and kills me. It's really bad. But I have to switch Hitmonchan here. If you like Sludge Bombs or something, it's pretty unfortunate. He could be paired, though. He Sleep Powders. I mean, that's okay. You know what? That's okay. I have to just stay in and try to wake up, I think. The question is whether I go for... I'm going to go for Ice Punch for now. Let's see what he does. Might Leech Seed again or something. Yeah, Good Drain does just finish me off. That is unfortunate. Maybe I should have ignored Leech Seed. Maybe I respected Leech Seed too much. To, like, switch out to immediately get rid of... I was so worried about the recovery. Maybe that was a misplay. I'm trying to Body Slam here. I outspeed, so even if he does a lot of damage to me... He shouldn't ever kill me, but I can Body Slam and then, um... Leech Seed is rough. I can actually kill him this turn. The uh, the issue is if he, if he has something faster in the back. Actually, no, I can't kill because of the Leech Seed recovery. Okay, I'm fine to Body Slam again. The Leech Seed plus Giga Drain recovery, too, is just, just going to be so much recovery. Oh my god, and Sleep Powder, dude. Ugh, it's a pain. This game is... Winnable, but it's really close, man. I have to pray for a wake up. I mean, he hasn't been para hatched yet on this thing. I have to pray for a wake up. I'm gonna body slam here. Man, are you? I haven't seen a single pit. This thing has not been para hatched yet. I mean, I mean that, that just means it's bound to happen, right? That's all that means, right? 
Gonna go for milk drink here. I don't wake up. Does he get parahacked? If I don't wake up any Okay. It's something. It's something. This oh my god, I'm so close. This game is insanely enough winnable. Wake up, milk drink. If he gets para if he he needs to get parahacked like over and over again for a little bit. For a little bit. Uh, but it's not happening. It's not happening. Twenty percent. This is gonna be a very long stall war. He could also crit. I mean, he's way more likely to get par. Dude, he's gotten so lucky on the parahex. That's okay. I mean, I've gotten lucky on a ton of things. <laughs> this is just a funny slash annoying way to lose, but I I guess I oh man. Oh, he natural cures, which is out. Oh, it's Quillfish. That's his last poke. This thing probably has Poison Point, which is pretty scary. Still has the Leech Seed, which sucks. I just have to go for a Body Slam. 30%. It might Poison Point me. Rain Dance. I just, I mean, I have to Heal Bell, or not Heal Bell, Miltrin here for sure. I'm scared he's just going to out damage me, though, as well with the, uh... Like, with Rain Up, I think he might just... Oh my god, yeah, I'm so scared. He's just trying to one-shot me with Waterfall, which I respect. Oh, he's, he's also faster than me now in rain, so he can actually flinch me, which is a huge deal. He had Natural Cure Roselia the whole time. I probably wouldn't have thought about that, to be fair. 87.8. Show me the para hacks into like to full para. Nah, it's okay. It's over. GG's. I tried. It was still a really, really good game, too. Like, I'm not I'm not sad about that game. That was, like, a pretty good game. That was, like, a pretty high-quality, pretty well-played game to my opponent. A lot, lot of respect to my opponent there. I feel like I maybe should have just respected Cradley a little more and switched out against him with the Scyther instead of staying in. Um, and, yeah, I should have just respect Cradley. Cradley is a monster. Cradley is a really, really difficult Pokemon to answer, to deal with properly. Um, especially in randoms where you can't really control... Like, what's, you know, what Pokemon you have, of course. It's a very interesting one. But, yeah, I don't know. That was a GG's. My opponent played that pretty well. Not not too unhappy about that. That was, no, that was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with today's game so far. We're going into game three. Around, what, 47 seconds in queue? If you guys don't like waiting in or sitting in, like, hanging out with me while I'm in queue, uh, you can always, I always leave timestamps in these videos so you guys can see whenever the battles begin. So you guys can just jump around battle to battle to battle. I don't want to waste your guys' time if you don't want it. But if you are hanging out with me right now, what's up? How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Hope you find some shinies today. The shiny uh, catch hunting, I guess, event. The shiny hunting event is coming up soon for my team, which I'm super excited for. That's why I'm actually here. Actually, I can, I can, actually, I can just straight up shiny hunt while I'm uh, waiting in queue. It'd be hilarious to get a, a shiny on cam. Or shiny on video. That'd be a good meme. Let's go ahead and get out of there. So four seconds left should be in our queue. Yeah, I should actually just do that. I should always just like shiny hunt while in queue for like all the time for like forever in the video for the future of these videos. Okay, jumping into the game three. I actually really like this lead. Choice bets butterfree lead. I'm super okay with. Yeah, choice bets butterfree lead is super decent. Uh, Scarf Typhlosion is interesting. I haven't been able to use it properly yet, unfortunately, with Eruption, but I would like to. Uh, Leftovers Mr. Mime. Calm Mind Leftover Mr. Mime. Interesting, interesting. Roost, Sucker Punch, Heat Wave, Haunch Crow, Blizzard Hail set up Glaceon. So if I can set up Hail with Glaceon and get off some Blizzards, that'll do insane damage. Is it Leftovers, though? It's a weird... I don't love that item on that. What else we got? Life Orb on that. Leftovers here. So Choice Specs and Choice Scarf are our two memers. I see no reason to switch here, right? <laughs> just trying to think. I think I just throw up a stab, Bug Buzz. Yeah, I think it's super super safe. Super safe to go ahead and throw up a Choice Specs, Stab, Bug Buzz. It might just one-shot this thing. It might, it might just OKO it. Just kidding. It only does 40%. What? What? And it's a Stealth Rocks lead? Dude! That is brutal. That's actually so sad. Wow. That's actually so brutal. And I can't... Do I have any way to get rid of Stealth Rocks? 
I don't think I have a defogger or a spinner. Dude, my team is so weak to stealth rocks. And I don't have a fogger or a spinner. That's so... What an unlucky start for me. Ugh. All you can do is try to bring it back from here. And that's all I'm going to try to do. So, I might just stay in for now and bug buzz. It's only going to do neutral damage. But it's, it's going to take four shots. I think it'll take three. Doing 40%. I think I'll be able to kill him in three shots. Post leftovers. 46 Okay, a little bit of a high roll. Okay. So, I actually definitely can three shot him. That's fine. Stealth route toxic. What a... This is actually... So the issue is, if I switch out my Butterfree here to, like, go into something else to change up the choice specs, the, like, I want to do that after this KO, maybe, um, but Butterf like, Butterfree's going to take 50% HP. Butterfree's literally going to get knocked down to half HP from Stealth Rocks, being Bud Flying, so it's just, like, so, so brutal. So if I, I want to see, if I want to have Butterfly, Butterfree be useful again, I need to switch it out here, but I think I can just Bud Buzz this for, for super effective. I don't know why, or no, it's not very effective. Typings. So I probably just switch out here. The question is to what? Like, do I really go Mr. Mime and risk? Like, he's definitely gonna have Shadow Sneak. He might just set up Trick Room here. I probably should switch out according to Trick Room. What is Glaceon's base stat speed? I'm gonna go over to Black, over to Black White Smogan. Check out Glaceon. I know it's like kind of slow. 65 base stat speed for Glaceon. Yeah, I might go Glaceon and set up uh, Hail. That's my best play here. Yeah, I'm gonna go Glaceon, look to set up Hail and just spam Blizzards. See what I can do. Man, this damage is so rough. Ice Punch, nice. Does so little damage. He also could be Choice Band, potentially. I actually also have Shadow Wall, which I didn't think about. I think I still want to set up Hail. I want to set up Hail because I also um have Snow Cloak, which is going to raise my evasion. So, setting up Hail here is really good. It allows me to... Possibly evade attacks, be having like giving everything, basically making everything a stone edge, giving everything 80% accuracy or lowering its accuracy by 20%. Um, and then I'll be able to spam blizzards at 100% accuracy. We see a switch, that's totally fine. Oh wow, so he's gonna set up rain and then I'm immediately that's so good for me. Wow, that is so good. And I'm super okay with him being on this. I can just stay in and uh go for blizzards. It's not going to do them. I'm, I'm hoping I can, like, two to three shot this thing. It's going to U-turn. Nice. My Snow Veil. Oh, wow. And he can't switch out because of it. And he gets hit 86. Wow. This is very, very good for me. Oh, wow. And he's chipped by Hail. He's almost dead. He's almost out of there. I almost want to throw... No, I'm just going to Blizzard. I almost want to throw up Shadow Ball in case of, like, a Dust Snore switch or some sort of switch here. He gets the U-turn off. Only doing 8%. This is so good for me. But I just want to, like, it's better to spin. I don't want to let him know that I have Shadow Ball yet. Yes, there we go. So we get the Dustmore Switch. I could have Shadow Ball in preparation, but I don't want to let him know that I have it yet. And Blizzard's still going to do 78%. Dude, let's go. Oh my god, that crit as well. But, it, 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 dude, everything getting chipped by hail is actually so huge. I'm, I just Blizzard here. I, I definitely kill it with Blizzard. I kill whatever he brings in. He Shadow Sneaks and misses from Snowville. Oh, dude, Glaceon's a monster. Glaceon is beast moding this game. Absolutely hard carrying. I had a really rough start. Had a very, very rough start. My opponent getting Stealth Rocks up turn one was literally worst case scenario for me. That's unfortunate though. Not gonna lie. Uh, I should be able to just safely set up Hail here though. And then, so Hail's gonna, if I get it up. Hydro, wow, okay. Hydro pumping is... Actually, no, it's actually fine. Just 80% accuracy there. Inhale. So it's going to chip him there. Nice. Inhale. Hydro Pump becomes 80% accurate. Or 60%. Excuse me. 60% accurate against Glaceon. Which is insane. Oh my god. The Dug Trio comes in. I don't know if I can live. I'm, not, I'm definitely... I mean, I don't know if I can live this. But I just... We just commit. He missed... He's stone edge. We're just 60% accurate. It's 60%. Does he not have EQ? You should always just EQ there. Always just EQ there. I mean, I guess he, maybe he needs Stone Edge to kill. I, I don't know. I feel like you got an EQ there. EQ has Stab. Stone Edge doesn't have Stab. Wow. Ta what a game. What a game. I should be good here. I'm, like, also full HP. What a game three. I love Hail Blizzard combo. I play around it so much in NU. Speaking of, I actually think Hail is in, like, an extremely good spot right now in NU. That was an incredible game three. God, that was so good. 
That was absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed that game three as much as I did. Hit that like button if you did and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Check out all the playlist links below for more Pokemon content. Join the Discord to learn about this game at a rapid pace. And finally, if you want to go above and beyond and support me and keep videos pumping out, becoming a YouTube member to me for five bucks a month or dropping a Twitch Prime or a Twitch sub or hitting up my Venmo are great ways to go above and beyond and support me. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys were entertained, informed, and just enjoyed today's content. I always want to be a positive asset in people's lives, so I hope I did that today. Thank you all so much. Have a good one. I'll see you guys later.